Hey guys, my name is Tegan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to run Evaporust through your vacuum pump. Evaporust will help get the grime and like all the buildup off of your casting and your pump head. It's good to run at least probably once a year. If you do a lot of sugars and things like that, it's better to run it more often than that because it'll have more buildup on your vacuum pump. So for starters, this is how your vacuum pump should be set up. It'll be probably to the right side of your machine. So I'm going to disconnect the vacuum hose, set it to the side. I'm going to take off the filter to this to the side as well. Next thing I'm gonna do is take the pump to the edge of the table, grab the Allen wrench that you should be sent with your package, take out the, the drain plug and let all the oil fall into the plastic container that I have. The oil will take probably a good 30, 40 seconds to drain all the way out. It also helps if you tip your pump forward a little bit. Be careful not to drop it off the table, but it'll speed up the process quite a bit. The more you open this drain plug, the more the oil will come out, but be careful because if you open it too much, the drain plug will just fall on the floor and you don't wanna be chasing it all around. Once the oil starts dripping to a minimum, take your cup, put it to the side. You're gonna to wanna to screw back in the drain plug until it's nice and tight and no oil will drip back out the bottom at all. So this is a Vapo Rust. This is a really good cleaner for your pump because it'll break down all the grime. It's just a heavy duty cleaner. It also will not cause damage to your vacuum pump at all if used the way we recommend. We are going to open it up. We are going to fill up our other cup to about the same amount as I would fill up the normal with oil. So it's about 18 to 20 ounces from here. I take the Evapo Rust and we are gonna pour it in to the opening just like you're pouring in the oil. From here, we are going to turn on the machine to just run the vacuum pump. You don't need to put the filter on. You can leave the filter off and I'm just gonna put my finger over the, the port for vacuum. I'm going to turn the pump on and just let it run for a few seconds without evapo rust and then turn it right back off. After you've run your vacuum pump for a few seconds, um, you let the evapo rust sit inside your pump. It will continue to eat away at all the buildup and grime that's on the inside of it. Some people say to leave it in there for 24 hours. I'd say you're good for a couple hours. It just depends on how dirty your vacuum pump is. If it has a lot of buildup on the sight glass, that will be when you want to leave it in there for longer. Ours is pretty clean because we have hardly used this vacuum pump for anything that will make it super dirty on the inside of this pump. But if yours is super you know, dirty on the sight glass, I would leave yours in for probably 24 hours. After 24 hours, you could take the, the little container that you put all the evapor rust in and drain it out just like the oil would be drained out. Take the plug out. The evapor rust will drain out faster than the oil will because it's more of a liquid, so you won't have to wait as long. After the evapor rust is all drained out of your pump, you're going to want to tighten down your drain plug. And your next step is going to be adding your oil back in your vacuum pump. You can change your oil at this point if you would like. If your oil seems pretty, you know, dirty, messy, I would switch it out now while you have the chance. The more switch you, the more you switch your oil, the better it's going to be for the pump. It's always recommended. The next step from here is to put your your filter back on the top of your pump. Try to be super careful not to be too aggressive. You don't want to strip the threads. After that 10 to 15 minutes or that cycle is complete, drain out all the oil in your vacuum pump. This is just because we don't want the evaporust sitting in there causing any harm over like time. So take your vacuum pump oil out and you are gonna to wanna to discard of this oil. This evaporust is really clean because our pump was not dirty. If your pump is super dirty, your evaporust will have a discoloration of whatever color was in your pump. Usually it's sort of like a brown color. You'll see even chunks come out at some point. This will break apart everything that is stuck together in there, especially the sugars, and pull all back out in this liquid. If you have just switched to Dairyland oil, don't be surprised if there's like chunks coming out in your oil. That is pretty normal. Dairyland has kind of the same quality as this, where it likes to break down sugars and keep your pump super clean. So if you have just switched to Dairyland, don't be afraid when it starts to drain your pump and get out all the grime that's in there. Hopefully this video was helpful on you cleaning your vacuum pump, and thank you for watching.